In this video I'm going to be showing you why the Behringer K2 Mark II is so awesome. It's a follow on from my first impression video as I've been digging deeper into this synth. The short reason is the patch bay on the right hand side but if you want the full explanation as to what makes the patch bay so freaking awesome you'll just have to watch on. I've done a couple of videos describing my initial thoughts of the K2 Mark II and it's a sweet synth. It's got a beefy sound and dual oscillator, so really packs a punch. The filters are nice and dirty, and you can get some really good aggressive sound out of this little fella. Add in the frequency modulation and a bit of pulse with modulation, and it gets a bit of a heavyweight, especially when you're considering the price. But what takes this from great to exceptional is the magic patch bay on the right hand side. Now, I thought this would be good and being able to modulate the cutoff frequency with something Eurorack key would be really cool. The PWM in actually adds a load of modulation mayhem as well, especially when you work out how to turn and dial it in. All of this is bonkers good, but there's more and, and it's not really something I'd considered when I purchased the K2 Mark II and it genuinely has knocked my little socks off. You see, towards the bottom of the patch bay, there is an external signal processing section. Now this opens up the additional world of Sonic Mayhem by feeding in additional signals through the synth. Not only does it take additional signals though, but you can sculpt the sound to take off some of the rough edges and the harsh edges of a sound that you're bringing in. Now where this really rocks my world though, is when you drop the K2 Mark II into the Eurorack context. This is because it now responds to one volt per octave. I mean, I've chucked in the Mutable Instruments Platts, uh, and Behringer does a clone called Brains, um, and use that voice through the K2 Mark II. It just blew my mind. Adding a dose of modulation to the whole shebang, and you get to easily lose a day just messing around with the dials and patching to find a whole new world of sonic territory. It genuinely is so much fun. So I'm just talking up gear I already have. That's why I like a bit modular. You, um, and that's why I'm showing you the setup. It's not what you should be buying necessarily. It's just what I've got. You could do something similar at home if you wanted by getting, um, say, a Eurorack Go case from Behringer with a K2 Mark II, one of these 2600 style VCOs, brains, 4LFO, uh, again, another module from Behringer, which um, you'd use instead of the mutable instrument stages. And as for sequencing, Behringer have an affordable 182 module, which can be used to do um, basic 16-step sequencing. Although, you know, you probably look at you know, different sequencers. Uh, I'd say the try and get hold of a second-hand bloom from Cubic because they're quite quirky and people sell them because they, they don't do exactly what they thought they would do um, but you know, as long as you don't expect something straightforward they're good fun to play with and again in my setup here I've got this running through beads that's at the end of the chain just to add a little bit of uh, reverb and some grandeur synthesis I'd be inclined to say you probably don't need this initially um, and just use uh, some effects on your computer in the first instance or look at some of the effects that are available in Eurorack. The patch bay with its one volt per octave compatibility and external signal processing is such a game changer. I mean, it really opens this up to the crazy world of modular. And again, when you consider this is a budget bit of gear, the massive amount of potential this has is just phenomenal. I'm, I just think this is such an awesome bit of kit. Something I'm going to play with further is the interaction between the K2 Mark II in its modular guise and the Behringer Edge. You see the Edge pumps out CV and I think could be a good alternative sequencer to the Bloom. You know, again, it's another option, but obviously it doesn't fit in the case. Now, do, do you feel the same? Perhaps modular is in your bag? Or have I convinced you to dip your toe into this crazy world? Either way, I'd love to know your thoughts and if you're into Behringer and the K2 Mark II, then have a watch of this little video over here where I share my first impressions of the synth.